Welcome to a 100% trophy walkthrough of Rhyme. Now I'm going to show you the location of all 44 collectibles. I'm going to show you all the miscellaneous trophies and locations and things you need to do. Following this guide will get you the platinum in a single playthrough. I'm not going to show you any of the major puzzles or anything like that. So this is basically going to be spoiler free. There might be some minor spoilers. But as soon as we begin, you want to turn around. And now we're just going to head down this path here, follow the beach. And we'll find ourselves a little cave system that we can climb up and i'm going to point out different things along the way now if you want to just play through this game without using a guide you can do it probably in about maybe four to six hours it's a relatively easy platinum the game's not too difficult some of the puzzles can be a, a little tricky but you'll figure them out uh, this game's very much like the last guardian or, or anything from team ico uh, in very familiar to you if you've played those games a lot of puzzles that you need to do and the art style of course is very similar now real quick here there's a jar we want to break the jar because you have to uh, d destroy a whole bunch of jars for the jars in the sand trophy uh, I'm not sure exactly how many there are but uh, we're going to destroy jars along the way but I'm not going to show you all of the jar locations a lot of them will be in your uh, path so it won't be an issue and of course we missed a jump now our first collectible is going to be up here so when you travel backwards to the beach you come up this way and we're going to find our first lullaby the lullabies are shells and we're going to blow into the shells and it does a little lullaby so we're just going to keep following the path over here this is completely off the beaten path a lot of these locations are so if you're just going to mainline the story uh, it's not going to take you that long you don't have to go to all these different places but our first collectible is way up here we're going to interact with this. Uh, we have to pick it up with the uh, square button. And that'll be our first lullaby. I'm having difficult here because I didn't know what buttons to push. So there we go. Now while we're up here, we're going to actually get another trophy as well. But there you go. That was one of six. But here is the reckless cannonball trophy. What you need to do is jump off this cliff here. So jump with X and then hit square circle hold circle actually and that'll get you the reckless cannonball trophy there's probably several locations in the game but you might as well get that one right there out of the way all right so skipping a little forward you're going to reach your first kind of main puzzle and it's the squirrel puzzle and once you come to it come over these trees here and then pick an orange out of the tree now what we're going to do is get the happy family trophy by luring a bunch of these boars up and we're going to kind of get the boars together we're going to reassemble the family to get the happy family trophy so what I did is I walked around that area, gathered up a bunch of boars. They'll follow you. And then we're going to head up this path here. Now you have to feed this one boar a orange in order to get past this to get to the left over there. So you have to do this part of the story. And you can see I got, uh, that looks like five babies there. I'm going to lure them here. Now I'm going. you may get the trophy at this point. I don't. So what I'm going to do is uh, feed this boar here that's kind of blocking our path. I'm going to drop this. Now I'm going to go back down the hill. I'm going to go get another orange and bring it back up. Now at this point, I will get the happy family trophy. So I'm going to keep the orange that's in my possession. Now if you got the trophy already and you need another one, you could just go across this path straight ahead of you as another orange bush. But we're going to get that went too far trophy. So what I'm going to do is just kind of come up over here. and You need to throw this as far as you can. So just come up to the cliff here. we got a nice good height up here and we're just going to uh, hold the square button to throw it and there's the that went too far trophy all right so moving on we're back at the center of the puzzle area there's the orange bush down there so we're going to head back up this pathway here and we're going to kind of follow this little ledge now this is uh you have to come this way as part of the story but we're going to take a little side path to get our first of seven toys. So we're going to come up here and we're going to jump down. Now what we need to do is go over to the left once we climb up this rock here. And you see right in front of the toy, just walk up to it, hit the square button and you'll get that. So we're going to continue around that way and then you're going to reach this little shrine thing here. And you need to interact with this as part of the story. That's part of the fox puzzle. Now what we're going to do is we're going to follow this wisp. And just keep following it. 
this is part of your main path you'll have to do. So we're going to go a little ways for this. Now as you're following here, if you look straight in front of you, you're going to see a little glowing thing and that's going to be our first emblem. You see it way out there, kind of out in the distance. Now in order to get to that, jump over here and then we're going to drop down the ledge. And then we're going to move over to the left and follow this around and that'll get us to our first of 18 emblems. Finding all the emblems is going to get you the It's a Process trophy. There are a lot of trophies here we're going to get. You can actually play this game straight through without any guide, beat the game, and only earn 5 of the 32 trophies. So a lot of missable trophies. There are chapters select though, so if you miss anything, you can replay uh, the chapters. There's only, uh, I think, four of them? Five? Alright, so we're going to be back at the center of the puzzle area, and we're going to go past it and up the hill here to the left-hand side, and we're going to swing around here. Uh, this one is a kind of a journey to get to, but it's going to give me a, a moment to explain. I'm not going to show you every single step that you need to take, of course, but you have to make sure you don't step on any eggs. Uh, you're going to see nests uh, occasionally, and in those nests could be an egg. And if you in, you need to avoid stepping or breaking any of the eggs open, you're going to see a collection of nests up here to the left-hand side. There's no eggs in there, but if there were, you would have to avoid them. I'm also not going to show you every single uh, little light, little flame that you have to light up as well. But I'll show you what I'm talking about once we kind of uh, come across some, which will be in a little bit. All right, so now that we finally made it up to this little area here, there is a collectibles up on top in front of us there. So in order to get to that, you just come up here. Now just kind of platform your way around. I'm not going to show you the entire platforming run here. Very simple though. Make your way to the other side and there is our second toy. All right, so after you've completed the first main puzzle, you're going to open this doorway here. Immediately hug the right, follow the path to the right, and we are going to find our second emblem. Some pigs down there. Come back here, and there is our hidden emblem. So go ahead and pick that up. Now, at, shortly after that, you're going to meet the fox. Once you've done that, we're going to go up the path and then we're going to turn left right up there. Now stay left, and right in front of you is a stream. So we're going to uh, join the stream here, kind of follow it straight back this way. Again, hug the left. Now walk straight in front of you, you'll see an emblem over there. So with that emblem in in our hands we're gonna open up this next gate now once we've done this we're gonna find our third toy and it's gonna be to the right there's it's gonna the path is gonna be blocked so in order to get into there to gain access go over to the orange trees here now we're gonna throw this we're gonna lure the uh, boars over here and they're actually gonna break open this passageway for us I did not throw it close enough unfortunately so I went back got another orange got a little closer then threw it and they will bust that open for you now once I've done done that just head straight back and you'll find the toy on the right hand side okay so from there we're going to head over here and we're going to see a couple flames. You're going to see a bunch of these throughout the game. You have to ignite, light up. I don't know, again, how many, but there are going to be many of them in this chapter and future chapters. In fact, you can get the trophy for this uh, before you even reach the end of this chapter. So anytime you see these little flames, you have to walk up to it and scream. And that's how you interact with a lot of things. You, you're using your, you're yelling at things, which is how I like to get things done by yelling at them. So there's four of them there, so go ahead and interact with that. Again, I'm not going to show you all of those in the game. Uh, some of Several of them I will. Many of them are going to be in your path, so just remember, be consciously aware of those. Make sure you scream at them. But we're going to find our fourth emblem over down this way. 
So once we pick the, that up, we're going to head back the way we just came. You can see the flames over there to the right-hand side. You'll see an uh, en entranceway straight in front of us. Uh, just to the left of that is going to be a path over here. And we're going to go down. There's actually going to be a few things we're going to do down here. The first thing we're going to do is find our second outfit. Now you're saying, Brian, we haven't found any outfits yet. Uh, yeah, and that's true. But when you look at your collectible guide, and there's uh, some flame here for you. Make sure you yell at those. Uh, when you look at the collectible menu and the uh, extras option in the menu, it shows you already have one of six, of course, because you start with one. So technically, this is the first one we're picking up. It's going to be the second one when you look at the menu. So we're going to take this path down here. Once you get to the split, take the right. And then we're going to see a little ramp in front of us. So, we're, of course, we're going to uh, run up the ramp, jump over. And this will lead us to the outfit. Jump up once more, and then we got to jump across to the vines to climb up those. Now this whole part over here is an optional area, so uh, make sure you, you find the little pathway down to get to this outfit. So we're going to go ahead and equip the outfit so we can see what it looks like. Now while we're down here, we're also going to go after another trophy. It's the Ancient Treasure Trophy. So what we're going to do is backtrack, go back down. and make our way to the ramp. Now we came from the path straight in front of us there. Uh, this time stay along the beach going to the left side and, and we're going to pick up an orb. Now in this area where the orb is, there's gonna be a couple more of those little flame things that you're gonna to wanna to, uh, interact with, so make sure you do that. And you'll get the lighten up trophy for lighting these lights. Again, we will get that trophy before the end of this first chapter. So if you miss one, don't worry. There's plenty of them. Not going to be an issue. So let's just go ahead and, and take care of that real quick. All right, so now there's the orb. So we're going to pick that up, and we're going to actually head back to, to, from the area, the path that led us to this area. So we're going to keep going over here. You're going to see a little steps to the left-hand side. That's what we want to uh, what we're looking for here. And ultimately what we're doing is we're going to wake up the lost sentinel. And that's where we're going to get the ancient treasure trophy. Of course, we need this orb in order to do that. So here are the little steps. We're back in the cave system. You would go left right here in order to get back to where you need to be. Instead, we're going to take the right path here with the split and then follow it along this way so as you can see we're totally running way out of the way from where we need to go which is why most people will miss most of the trophies again if this is your first time playing through it might be good to do it without a guide then come back and, and use the guide or if you just want the quick and easy platinum here it is so there's the uh, ancient treasure trophy just drop that orb and then it'll get you the trophy all right, so now we're going to be here. You got that little box that we pushed up against that side over there. So we're going to backtrack a little bit, drop down here. And then we're going to go climb back up. And then we're going to interact with this little statue here in just a second. So we're going to yell at it by hitting the triangle button. It'll open up this passageway so you can then pull the block through. and then jump up here of course there's a, f a flame there so let's go ahead and light this thing up ha! now from there jump up to the vines climb up the vines and we'll find the shell which again is the lullabies this is number two of six and this area is right is way above the actual puzzle solution the main story puzzle that you need to do but come back here and you'll find the lullaby. Now from here, we're gonna find the first keyhole. There's eight of them. There's only one in chapter one. So 
So in order to get to this one, just follow the stairs up here, the white stairs. It'll be right in front of us, and you can see the main puzzles down there to our left-hand side. But there's the keyhole. We need to look through eight of those. All right, so after you've completed the first main puzzle, you're going to come to another big puzzle area. And this is uh, the end of the Careful Steps trophy. And this is where, for avoiding uh, breaking any eggs. So you're going to climb up this column eventually. And you see behind me is the nest with an uh, egg in it. So make sure you don't jump from too high of a gold ring. If you do, you might accidentally jump onto that nest. And then down here, I'm not going to show you the puzzle solution or anything, but there's another nest over there just to our left. And then you have to climb back up this pillar here, and I ran just next to that nest. So make sure you do not step on those nests. And then once you get back up here, as soon as you step on this little circle, that'll pop the Careful Steps trophy. I try to avoid show, showing you uh, most of that puzzle there, because that's part of the, the main story. So after you've uh, done objective one and two, there's two main uh, side objectives there. This center area with the red tree is going to fill up with water now we have to dive down into a secret area this is going to be in a room a hidden room uh, underneath where the the statue is where you take the two little keys and attach it to it so this is a little room that's underneath that so you have to dive through the water to get into here just walk in this area you'll get the funeral flowers trophy there's a couple lights there don't worry you can't ignite them so a little bit later, you're going to come down this long stone bridge, and you see the narrow open in front of us that's about 500 feet tall. Before entering in there, go over to the right-hand side, and I'm going to drop down here and then swing around. There's a kind of a hidden passageway where we're going to find our third outfit. As soon as I locate it, it's right oh there it is go in here go to the left and this will take you directly to the third outfit all right so the next major area you come to is a big open area uh it circles around and there's a lot of pots here, so I just want to spend just a moment. I mentioned earlier, uh, the, right at the top of this video, that you have to break the jars. Uh, that'll get you the jars in the sand trophy. So your first one is right there as you enter the area. Uh, so break that open. There's a, a light there you can ignite as well. And then you will just want to keep circling around this entire thing. Don't do anything else until you've made sure you've broken open all the pots. The next one here, there's a couple lights in here. So go ahead and yell at those. And then there's going to be another secret area we have to travel quite a distance to get to. But before you do that, just keep making sure you go around the outside and uh, break open all these pots. Again, you just yell at it to break them open. As you're running around, you might see some that you already broke, but keep going because... Uh, you took kind of a little shortcut path through there. All right, so eventually, once you've made sure you broke open all the pots, you're going to find this little stone thing here that you can climb up on the left-hand side and then climb, uh, run up here and jump over to the center of the big column up high here. And now we're going to follow this path here to our fifth emblem. This area is completely far away from where uh, we need to go. And where you're trying to locate as far as progressing the story is a, a big opening you'll see some wind going in there and that'll take you to the labyrinth so make sure you do this first now once you got to that section you had to jump over to the left and jump back to the right and then you'll find this little area you can jump back across to the outside a little crack here we can walk into in addition to the fifth emblem there's going to be a bunch of lights in here as well See some flames, so go ahead and yell at all of these. A good number of them here. There's one over here to the right. I think I just walked past it.
keep going again don't worry too much about these flames there's far more of them in the game than you need all right so keep following the path here hug the right wall and it'll take us right to the emblem once you've picked up the emblem go back to the uh, the main area where you circled around and keep circling around until you find this opening here you'll see the wind going in there now this is where we're gonna do a few different things there's two trophies the path of light trophy and dark and quiet the path of light requires you to turn on all the light now you, well, first speaking of lights let's light these little flames here yell at them now these little light things you just have to walk past them and it'll automatically uh, turn on and there's a I don't know maybe 20 or so 15 or so uh, in this area so you want to make sure you turn those all on now there's also the dark and quiet trophy the dark and quiet trophy requires you to complete the labyrinth without making a sound that simply means do this entire area without hitting the triangle button that's it not very not difficult just make sure at no point you hit the triangle button so there's the light that's the first one so we're bringing light to the labyrinth of the darkness that gives you the path of light trophy now I'm not gonna show all of them but I will tell you that you need to go back this way if you're going around this area clockwise you'll eventually run across it and as, as I'm doing this as I'm getting there of course I'm making sure I light these things up and another one Again, you don't interact with them at all just walk past them don't yell or anything your first instinct might be to hit those triangle buttons to light those up do not hit the triangle button at any point in the labyrinth so there's a white shade back here so if you just follow it clockwise around uh, look for that little outside path that you can jump to now in here is a dark area there are pillars you need to jump to three of them in fact now you might fall at one point I do but what we need to do is find this white shade. You can see this figure uh, in the back of the area. There's four of them. Uh, there's one here, only one in chapter one, of course. And of course, there we fell. Just walk up to it. Don't hit the triangle button or anything. Just walk up to it. All right, so now, once you've done that, jump back, get back to the labyrinth. Just keep circling this area until the path of light trophy pops don't go to the center area until you get the trophy if you miss it just keep looking around they're evenly spaced out there's the path of light trophy i did not show my entire progression in this labyrinth to pop that trophy but uh, you get the gist now the dark and quiet trophy as long as you never hit the triangle button at any point during the labyrinth there you go now one last trophy i just want to mention the lighten up trophy that's for igniting these lights so light these little flames and at this point that is my last one I don't have to worry about uh, yelling at any more flames throughout the entire game if you missed it don't worry there's plenty more thanks for watching guys subscribe we'll see you soon